More water, more problems. Local lake levels are on the rise. New video tonight shows Folsom Lake at 75% capacity. But could we lose that water to Southern California? And are we next after unprecedented water restrictions hits parts of our state? Thanks so much for joining us here at 5. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Elizabeth Kling. Our news is also streaming live on CBS News Sacramento right now. CBS 13's Madison Keevy is live in Land Park tonight, getting answers for us on how water restrictions in Southern California could impact us. Madison. Well, one size fits all, not a phrase that you're going to hear when it comes to water restrictions. You know, beautiful yards in Sacramento have different rules than those in Southern California. And simply put, the reason right now is that we're just in better shape when it comes to hydrology than in Southern California. The hose can be on today at this land park home because it's their assigned water usage day. Today, while well, we did some cleanup and we're watering on the lawn. Water is precious at this home. It's why every last drop gets used. And really, their conservation efforts are more clearly outlined by what they don't use. From when I was growing up as a kid and there was unlimited water, you didn't think about it. Hosing off the patio sidewalk, washing the car was not a problem. Uh, but now, yes, I absolutely do think about it. Uh, not washing the car, not washing off the driveway. It's the third dry year in Northern California. And by the numbers, we're not in the worst shape. In the Sacramento region, we're at 85% of the average precipitation for the water year. That's higher than the statewide average of 74%. Southern California hasn't done as well. Can we anticipate restrictions like what we're seeing in Southern California up here in Northern California? Well, the reason for the restrictions in Southern California are a unique local set of circumstances. And it's important to keep in mind that drought impacts really have to be considered at a local scale. When I asked a homeowner with eyes on the drought. There should be mandatory water restrictions uh, in Sacramento because we do not have enough water. You know, this is also a very specific time, uh, according to the DWR's drought manager, because it's that transition between the wet season into the more drier season, which, of course, then leads to wildfire season. She said this is the opportunity to remind those that live in those areas prone to fires to be prepared and stay alert into the coming months.